Hi guys, today we're going to make a candy dispenser, and these are pieces I've had for a while. That It all came from Dollar Tree. The little Death by Candy jar, the little pumpkin, that was all Dollar Tree. I think I've had them for like two years. Um, I didn't see them the last time I went to Dollar Tree, but hopefully they'll get them in. They're slowly getting things in. And what we're doing is taking the hot knife. I'll link mine in the description box I got off Amazon. And we're going to cut that stem off. The smoking is normal. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Don't worry about that. Just if you get a hot knife, be very careful. I mean, super hot, super sharp. You could try a box knife. Um, but this plastic is so thick. You know what I mean? So I don't know how. It might take forever. <laughs> So what we're doing now is we're cutting the bottom of the pumpkin off. So we cut the stem off the other piece and we're cutting the bottom out of this because this is going to be the top to our candy dispenser. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make like a rectangle. We're going to cut out that end and that's where the candy will come out. Now for this, um, this is more for show. And I do suggest using, like, faux candy. I didn't have any, so I just used a little bit of candy corn so y'all could see what it looks like. But being that we're using glue and paint, <clears throat> for one, that wouldn't really be safe for somebody to eat. And two, you don't want no critters or insects, you know what I mean? But, and I also know, yeah, we're going to take that spoon... And we're going to cut that end off. I just had it on hand. So that's what we're using. <laughs> and I know a lot of people have made candy dispensers. I totally get it. But. Oh, there's my doggy. He's barking at me. Sorry, y'all. Um, I want to do my own take. I, you know, I think they're adorable and just want to do it. So hopefully you guys don't mind. <laughs> my glue is stuck. So now, now what I ended up doing, this this super glue did not want to hold that spoon. So I ended up using hot glue and putting it in there. It just made it so much faster and easier. Now we're going to sand that plastic because it's very, like, um, shiny and slick. And for the paint to stick better, you want to, you know, give it a light sanding. I already had the pumpkin done. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint that with black ink well it's ink chalk paint black you know what I mean so we're going to paint every single piece with that and I do end up painting my little spoon black I had forgotten to do that so I do do that I feel like this is fairly easy now what we're going to do is bring our hot knife right under that rim and cut that piece off because this is going to be the top to our candy dispenser and I needed it flat. So like I said, if you get a hot knife, just please be careful. You know what I mean? Use caution. The smoke is normal, you know what I mean? Because you're burning through that plastic. So, And there we go. We have all of our pieces painted, our spoons painted. I got it hot glued in there. And now we're going to glue our pumpkin to the top of the base, to the Death by Candy piece. No Remy. Sorry, y'all. My puppy's acting silly. So we're just going to hot glue that up and just stick it on there. And you can, you can decorate it however you want. You can paint whatever color you want. It was just being like death by candy. I decided to just do black. And I do add a little bit of color. But I didn't want like too much. So this is going to be the very bottom. So we're going to load that up with hot glue. And then put our death by candy piece on top of that. I am loading it up, obviously. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that ain't coming off. I swear. Yeah, I needed a little bit more hot glue. 
See, I'm sitting here thinking, and boy, I'm adding too much, and I didn't add enough. I need to get more on those um, rib pieces better. I don't know what else to call them. So we're just going to stick that on there. I think you can get, I might have to try and give me some when I can, some folk candy. I know Amazon has it. Um, Timu might have it. So I'm using a black Sharpie and then just going around the edges of that. I feel like it makes it stand out more. You'll see in the end when the candy corn's in there, I think it looks so much better. I feel like it makes it, I don't know what's the word, I don't know, go together better. I can't find my words today, y'all. So we're taking some orange ribbon and some black and white baker's twine. And I'm going to wrap it a few times around that. So it's going to be like right under the pumpkin and right above the Death by Candy piece. So it's going to... So you don't see all that glue or anything like that. It's going to cover that up. See how there... There you go. When you're doing like bigger pieces or taller pieces, it's kind of hard to film. You know what I mean? So I'm doing the best I can to make sure you guys can see everything I'm doing. Now I did end up adding a little bow on this too. You'll see that in the end. Because I felt like that little part needed a little something extra. See there we go. And now we're going to take just the black and white baker's twine and we are going to go around um, the handlebar lid. I go around that a few times. Just to give it a little something, something. And then you just gotta add your candy. Too easy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, maybe you can give it a try and look around your house, you know, your craft stash, see what you got that, you know what I mean? Create your own little candy dispenser. And there we go, guys. Let me know in comments what you think. If you're new, please go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because that really helps my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.